Hey guys, today we're taking a look at Formatter.js, which allows you to format user input uh, to a specified pattern. Uh, so it formats user input for us. Uh, this is a really simple, really small library that I think does a better job at what it does than some of the libraries I work with regularly. So it's definitely uh, a part of my developer toolbox, basically. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what it does. Uh, so I've got the, uh, you know, some HTML here on the left with Formatter installed, and I've got the uh, output of that page here on the right. And we are going to just start building up some stuff. So we're going to have an input here called phone, and uh, we're going to have another one here called uh, social, SSN for social security number. And then we're going to load up our script. And, uh, and so we're going to get started here. Let's load this up over here. Ah, hey. Oh, I didn't save it. Save it. Load it up here. Let me zoom these in nice and big. Okay, so these are just standard inputs right now. And so the way we work with Formatter is we say new Formatter. Okay, and then we tell it the object that we want to work with. So document uh, get element by ID. And the first one we'll do is the, uh, well, let's do the SSN first. So that's the first argument. And the second one is an object. Uh, so let's tab this out a little bit. And it can take a couple keys. The first one is pattern. This is the most important one. And that takes a string. And what you do is you, you tell it your format that you want it to be in. So for social security number, uh, the, the parts of the user input that we want to identify are wrapped in double curly brackets. And uh, there's uh, three options in terms of what uh, characters you're looking for. There's uh, a nine for any number uh, integer between zero and nine. There's uh, a capital A for any uh, alphabetic letter. And there's a wild card, an asterisk as a wild card for any character. Uh, so let's format this uh, social security number. So three digits there, dash, two digits there, dash, four digits there. So let's refresh that and take a look. So now when I type here, I, uh, oh, hey, that didn't, uh, SSN, SSN. Oh, sorry, it's the second one. Uh, so when I type here, I can't type any letters. I'm trying. Uh, but I can type numbers, and when I get to the end, I can't type any additional numbers. So you can see it, it's formatting it for me. Awesome. Uh, okay, so let's do this next one, which is going to be our phone format. So here we're going to say phone, and down here, let's see, this is going to be, let's wrap the uh, area code, <coughs> excuse me, in parentheses, and we'll just have a space, and three digits, dash, four digits, reload that. And so now we've got that. Uh, so, I mean, super easy, way, way easier than a lot of the things I'm used to working with. Now there's a second key you can pass in, and that's persistent. And uh, that, that's a true or false. And what that does is it keeps any extra characters. So when I reload this, you can see for the social security number, it's displaying those dashes for me. Uh, and if we do the same thing on the phone number, it's going to display those uh, parentheses and uh, the dash for me. Uh, so there you go. That is Formatter.js. Uh, super handy. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. Uh, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.